Good morning, everyone. This is Kevin, and we are inside China Business. A cool report just dropped from the World Data Lab, and they surveyed demographic and economic conditions across the world, and they were hoping to discover what will be the biggest consumer markets in the world by 2030. First, they defined consumer class as those who will be spending more than 12 US dollars per day. This excludes everybody who is in poverty and includes only people with disposable income. They begin their analysis with the year 2024 and they figure that 14 countries are gonna add more than 1 million consumers each just this year and that the total increase in consumer spending will be about three trillion US dollars. And the population of over age 50 will be driving most of that spending. Let's look now at their forecast for 2030. China will be the world's biggest consumer market with over 1.1 billion people here spending more than $12 per day on discretionary products. That is a 15% increase over present day, which means there will be another 100 million people which will be added to the consumer market between now and 2030. India will see an enormous increase also. The consumer market there will skyrocket by 46%. That's over 200 million people to a total of just under 800 million people by 2030. In North America, the U.S. and Mexico are going to add another 20 million or so in total. And in South America, Brazil is the largest population there. And they will add another 12 million. The biggest booms, both by percentages and in raw numbers, are all going to be here in Asia. Indonesia up 27 percent, Pakistan up 30, Bangladesh up 59, uh, Vietnam and the Philippines up over a third each. And this is a key factor that managements of American and Canadian and European companies are taking into account. There's a lot of talk in the media back home about moving supply chains out to be closer to where the consumers and the customers are. Well, the consumers and the customers are here. When you simply consider that the entire North American market the United States, Canada, Mexico, and a handful of smaller Caribbean countries. The entire consumer market of North America there will be less than half of just China by 2030. And company management and executives here in Asia can tell you that any company that is even talking about moving out of China gets a lot of negative publicity and coverage in the local media here and across the social networks. They may be doing some talk about moving supply chains, but nobody's really doing it. And these population figures are a good part of the reason why. Thanks for watching. Be good.